You're a young Parisian woman in 1940. You're shy and not exactly beautiful. Ooh la la. But a handsome and bashful German soldier takes a liking to you. Do you fraternise romantically with the invading foreigner or shun him entirely out of patriotic duty? I do both. How? I'd have s I'd have mad sex and then shun him. So you'd risk everything. Grass him up. You'd grass him up? Yeah. Well after having so sex with him. Yeah. Done it before. If your life flashed before your eyes in an aeroplane accident and you realise that there's a weird bloke in a mask had been present at all your major life events. And then the plane's engine restarted and it was all fine. And then you looked around and two rows behind you was sat that man in the mask. What would you say to him? Clearly, the first question is, who the fuck are you? Who are you? And then if he said, I'm the man in the mask. Well, then I realised, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> that fucking hell, that guy in the mask. Why, well, why would I not have thought about him before? Because you never noticed him before. And all you would say to him is, who are you? Yes. What if he removed his mask? And? He had the face of a crab. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking nonsense. I know, I'm trying to, this is psychological like questioning, I'm trying to find out how you tick. I don't tick. Okay. What impressions can you do? Oh, fucking loads. I'm not doing any for you though. Come on. No. Do Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> oh, right, we're the fucking weather channel, you fucking cunt, you. Hey. Say Sharon. Sharon! David Bowie. Not really good at David Bowie. What's in my hand? Nothing. <laughs> Paul McCartney. I like that piece of mine. <laughs> Can you do Neil Young? No. You do his singing voice. Uh, I wanna live. I wanna. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. I could be Noel Young, a tribute act. Noel Young. Yeah. But. Uh, uh, what's his name? Dylan. But you bleed like a little girl. It's very good. I know. You're very I'm good. I'm fucking wasted. I'm wasted. Jagger. Should... Give us Jagger. <laughs> what are you lot talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Prince. Prince? Prince? Yes, that's what I said. No. What can you cook? I can... Uh, uh, okay. I could, if push came to shove. Fish fingers? Uh, I could probably, yeah, I could probably do that. That's not really cooking though, is it? I see cooking as preparing food and fucking right, what taking can, shit out of a thing and putting it on a tray and. Which can you, right, two things. Can you do the taking shit out and putting it on a tray and putting it in the oven? Easy. But is there a dish like, say, you had to prepare a meal for adults? Right. What would you do? I would uh, buy, so, let's say, six adults. Yeah. I would buy six salmon fillets. I'd steam them. I'll put them in the oven with some uh, <laughs> cherry tomatoes. Throw it on a plate. Can you say cherry tomatoes in a less Mancunian way? Cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> 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 I, but, 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 cherry tomatoes. Yeah, but you said it. At least worse I got it. Than that. Oh, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Guys, I hope you like cherry tomatoes with your salmon. Because that's, that's what you're getting. That, that's pretty good. You sound like Terry Christian. Oh, yeah. That's quite an extreme Mancunian accent, isn't it? It's quite. That's damn, that's just not even real. Isn't it? I don't think so. What is your order from an Indian restaurant? Um, 
I do like a, I do like a Jal Frazy. Chicken. I don't mind uh, Madras. Any, anything hotter than that where it's hurting you to eat it. Fuck that. But I can go and Madras. That's a, that's an all right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like uh, what's the mushroom fried rice. Yeah. Nan bread. Chicken Jal Frazy. Just done. Love. Good. Okay. I don't really like in. I don't. I don't really eat a lot of Indian food. Hmm. More, more your Southeast Asian kind of guy. That sushi. Yeah. Just like my mum used to make. Do you think we should ban art by artists who've done bad things? For instance, like Michael Jackson's music should be not listened to anymore. Or do you think, as a culture, we should separate art from the artist? Michael Jackson's music didn't finger any little fucking kids, did it? As far as I'm aware. Right. So I don't think... So you separate the art from the artist? Absolutely. Yeah. In your life, do you feel guilty about anything? And is there anything you wish you could take back? Uh, guilty. Or regretful? Regret? Absolutely not. But guilt is a different thing, isn't it? Like when my nearest and dearest are getting fucking shit on the internet by the morons, I feel that somehow it can't be anything to do with them because they're just, you know, lovely fucking people going about their fucking lives. So they're only getting it, the disgusting things that these fucking idiots say on the internet. They only get that because of it's re they're related to me. Mm. So a little bit in that respect, yeah, but I don't feel regret. There's a couple of things I wish I hadn't said about various people, but we all made up in the end and we were friends, so it's all good. But no, you can't live your life in regrets. Life's too short. Okay. How did you give up smoking? I went to the Q Awards, stayed out all day and all night. I could never smoke with a hangover anyway, but the hangover lasted so long it was like a good four or five days. Blimey. That by the time I'd got back to full fitness, I just, I, 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 it was another, it was at least about two weeks after that, and I thought, I haven't had a cigarette for two weeks. Wow. And then, that's it, I've, st I've still got, you know what, I've got, must have between 20 and 50,000 Marlboro Lights in my house from various dressing rooms all over the world I used to stockpile them mm. I bought six for years and uh, I still got them in a cupboard somewhere for when the kids start smoking um, have you ever been camping maybe with the school when I was a child but not since I don't camping is just ridiculous uh, what's the most expensive thing you've ever trashed as a rock star what smashed up yeah on purpose? Yeah. Not like Frank Spencer. No, I, I, I don't do trashing. I don't do trashing. You must have trashed something. Never. Have you never trashed like the menu in a hotel room? Just the go, menu? Shh. You must no. have done something. No, nope, never done anything. What? No. No, I don't understand people that do that. Never thrown a flip-flop out the window? Nope. No, I'm too busy. When I'm doing that, I'm fucking watching TV or... Getting fucking high or... Well, in the early days, there must have been like a boot through a window or something happened. Not that, not that came from me. No. Really? I've been, in, I've been in hotel rooms while they're being trashed. What did and you do? Just I was standing in the corners just thinking, yeah. fucking oh. hell, yeah, what are you fucking doing? Really? Fucking idiots, yeah. That's interesting, I like that. Yeah. You've said you used to identify with Seinfeld in 90s Manchester. No one else was watching it. You were into Seinfeld. What was it? in Jerry Seinfeld, in the show Seinfeld, that you identified with? Uh, the eating of cereal at two o'clock in the afternoon. Right. Uh, the sarcasm. The uh, ambivalence towards the important things in life and yet obsessing about the stupid little fucking absurdities. Yeah. When was the last time you had McDonald's? Years ago, I don't know. What country do you think has got the largest population of feral camels <laughs> roaming around? Albania. No. E uh, Egypt, clearly. No? 
This country has 300,000 feral camels. America. Australia. What? Yeah. I've they, fucking they... seen a camel in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big place. I've not seen a kangaroo either, actually. I've, come to think of I've seen loads. I haven't seen you drive across Australia, they're all dead by the side of the road. Drive across Australia, in and out. In and out. Yeah, stop to smell the flowers. Do the gig, see you later, mate. Yeah? Yeah. What are you allergic to? Nothing. I had an allergy test done recently. I'm allergic to fuck all. Really? Nothing. I did a, a pinprick test where you do it on your thing. Yeah. You send it off. And they come back. They're not very accurate, though. Those oh, well, oh, well, fair enough. Well, I don't, but, feel, I don't feel like I'm allergic to anything. Okay. Sorry. When was the last time you listened to an Oasis album in its entirety? Uh... I think it would have been from start to finish would have been the last Oasis record mm. the last time I listened to an Oasis album at all was a few years ago when it was some fucking anniversary of beer now and I was going to go and do something with it I'd always thought the songs were too long and I was going to go and edit them down and actually, after listening to it, I just thought, fuck it, I can't be asked. I just did a remix of, do you know what I mean? But that was the last time. I don't. I only tend to listen to, even like my own music, when it's happening, when you're doing it, when you're doing it, then literally the day it comes out, give it one more listen and then move on to the next. If you didn't live in England, which country would you like to live in? Fucking hell, that's a mega question. I, I could live in Ireland. I could live. I don't think I could live in America. Ireland. Ireland. Did you? Yeah. But forever, for good, that's it. Yeah, you've yeah, moved. Yeah, there, yeah, Ireland. Right. Um, when was the last time you went in a phone box? Can't remember. I actually remember when I first met Sarah. I remember calling her from a phone box. I didn't have a phone, so it was 20 years ago this year. So it must be 20 years ago. She wasn't one of those numbers in the phone box, but she was one of those cards. And let me tell you, it was worth every fucking penny. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever bought a lottery ticket? No. Good. You've done a million interviews, yes. right? What is the one question you've wanted to be asked but never been asked? Quite a few of them today, I must say. Um, the question that I get asked a lot, which I fucking hate, is what's your favourite, what's your best song you've written? I hate that. You're not getting that here, are you? No, because you asked me that the fucking first time we did it. No, I haven't. Yes, you did. I've never had stoop that low. You would. Um, it's clearly Songbird. The question... <laughs> As a songwriter, I get asked about the construction of the songs. Mm. And it's fucking boring. You know, you went from G to E minor, and then I did this, and actually yeah. then what I did then is I did that, and I was thinking of this. I never get asked about current affairs. You want to talk about current affairs? <laughs> well, why not? What do you think about Erdogan in Turkey? Islamizing Turkey. <laughs> You've got nothing, have you? <laughs> I, think, I think that's where we'll wrap it up. <laughs>